Today is April 25th. It is a beautiful spring day. I'm gonna do a couple mic checks today. I'm gonna to check the supers I put on last week. But look what I saw right when I walked in the bee yard. Boom. First dandelion of the season. Okay, starting off with the largest hive from last week. Let's see what they're doing up here. Probably just prepping cells. I, I doubt there's anything up here. These frames were uh, spun out in December and kept in the freezer. So they are, they were, you know, quote unquote wet when I put them in, but there was nothing in them. Uh, and there's now absolutely nectar in this in these frames so they are already putting nectar into the super on april 25th i had a lot of comments people saying they put supers on in april before it's not unusual but it is for me some in here too That is fresh nectar. I'm really glad I got a super on last week. Put this aside. Okay, I'm gonna do a mite test on this hive. I have not done any mite tests this year because when I first opened the hives, the very first time I was able to inspect, they already had capped brood. So I really didn't want to disturb them on a cold day and get them out and shake bees and all that stuff. But today it's a nice warm day. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna test a frame of bees and just get a sort of ground reading here right at the beginning of the season. Looking for a frame of open brood. That frame is filled with eggs. We're drawing this frame out. Okay, it's a big frame of open brood there. So if I can find the queen, I'm gonna take from this frame right here. I actually think they're moving honey or they're, they're not replacing honey they've used. This was all honey up top and now it's all filled with eggs right up here. She's laid all the way up. They're leaving this little corner of honey here and a little corner of honey here and they're, they're putting honey up above. So they're, they're trying to give her as much frame space as possible. This is a fantastic colony. There she is. I'm going to grab her. Okay, she's in there. She's right there. I'm going to shake this frame off. Okay, letting the queen go. Other way, queen. And there she goes, down into the box. I gotta get my sample.
Zero mites in the oak hive. Zero mites in the oak hive, none. This is the hive that had the highest mite load last year. Uh, they threw a 23 mite count in September. Hit them with oxalic acid and then apivar. And then another round of oxalic after that. So I'm pretty sure that knocked them down for the winter. And obviously this colony is massive. So they are working the super. Doesn't look like there's a ton stored up here. Maybe in the middle there. Oh yeah. Some weight to this one. That's all fresh nectar. You may have had this happen with you before with your bees in your location, but for me, this is new. This is not normal for me. Isolate the queen and do a quick mite test. That's a frame of larva. Back with the queen cups. Bang, there she is. Shake this frame right here. Okay, this is, again, Maple Hive. Last year was my worst mite colony. I was checking them all summer. They had like a mite count of two, three, and then in September, they went from three mite count. Three weeks later, they had a 23 mite count. So I immediately hit them with oxalic and then apivar. And they did apivar, they got through the winter, and they're, you know, nice big colony. So see what they're, see what they look like now. It's April 25th. First test of the season. And this is a VSH queen, or that's what it was sold as. Okay, what's the damage? Zero. There's a, there's a tick. There's a tick right there on my hand. I'm gonna shake them a little more. I can't believe there's no mites. I think I see one. I see one mite. One mite. So uh, this is the hive that was the worst last year. So they went through an entire winter. It's filled with brood and I got one mite in that wash. So we're, we're, uh, we're pretty good here. And just for fun, let's see if this queen and this nuke that emerged has made it yet. Let's just see if there's some fresh eggs. This is just, just for fun. Again, this is my nuke I don't really care that much about. If they, if they produce a queen and she starts laying, we got a new queen. If they don't, we're gonna make some space and maybe split something else into here. Ooh, pollen patties getting used, which would mean there may be brood in here.
Uh oh, they're roaring. That's not a good. That's not a good sign. They're fanning like crazy. Why is the pollen patty being used if they're this loud? Did they lose their queen again? Or is she just out mating? She could be out mating. And they're just maybe calling her back or something. All right, well, I saw a queen in here. And I assume she was not mated because there were no eggs. I don't see eggs today. All right, I'm not sure what just happened with that nuke. Uh, the video cut out at some point, but basically I did not find the queen. I was expecting to find some brood because the pollen patty had been eaten, but there was, there was no brood and I did not see a queen. So it's either she happens to be out on a mating flight and she's gonna come back, or she went out on a mating flight and did not come back. Either way, they are queenless. I'm probably gonna wind up combining all those bees into the neighbor hive and just have an open space to split something else into. And as far as Varroa goes, my largest hive with the highest population had a zero mite count for 300 bees. And the hive that was the worst Varroa infestation last fall had a single mite in a 300 bee count, which is pretty impressive. So the Apivar and all the oxalic last fall worked on that hive. So I'm gonna be testing monthly this year. All the other hives I'm gonna let go for now because if there were no mites in those two huge hives, then there's not gonna be a lot of mites in this bee yard right now. So I'm gonna hold off on the rest of the tests until things warm up a bit. And then, uh, you know, mid-May, I'll, I'll start testing everybody regularly. So that's the news.